Okay, this is uh, my solar backwards motor. <laughs> and uh, Mizman 1 did a build off motor last year, I guess, or the year before, with the same idea. Only his is much, much, much better. And I'll give a link to his uh, build videos on how he built one of these things up. And uh, the only thing that was different about his is he put the coils on the on the um, flat side down, not like this, and then he had the magnets under here, and it's really ingenious. He ran uh, his on needle bearings, and then he wired up the needle bearings to the stator, basically, so that he could generate power from the rotating disc. You know, a great big uh, solar cell on top of it to gather the energy for the sun, and uh, this one here He's got the solar panel, but I've got a super capacitor to hold the energy in it. And then uh, this thing goes around here and fires. You see the LED blink as it goes around. And uh, he ran his with a Hall sensor circuit. And he was trying to use the dad have a two transistor circuit. And I don't know if he ever got that to work or not. But this is just one coil and a reed switch. Uh, uh, the power source and the... Uh, coil are in series with the reed switch interrupting the power to the coil so every time it goes by a magnet the uh, reed switch triggers the uh, circuit and then uh, the LED is put across the reed switch or across the coil I can't remember how to show the flyback and then I'm getting uh, extra power from the solar cell and uh, that's the idea was uh, you uh, use solar energy to power the thing uh, but anyway this is the solar version of what I showed yesterday only uh, like I say Minzman 1 did a really really neat I actually did a couple of them with the same idea of putting the uh, the driver on the rotor and then the uh, magnets uh, stationary let me take this back outside and I'll show you how it works out here in the sun This is a pretty cool idea, something different I haven't tried before.